Having an email signature gives you authority and credibility in the eyes of your email recipients and demonstrates that you and your organization are well established and professional. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you two simple methods for creating professional email signatures completely for free. Okay, so before we jump into this video, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create your free professional email signatures through two simple methods. <music> Okay, so the first method for creating a professional email signature completely for free is using the free design tool called Canva. Now to arrive at Canva, you can simply head over to canva.com or feel free to click the link below this video in the description and that will take you here. Now it's important to note that that link in our description is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan, we will get a small commission and this just helps support our channel. So thank you in advance. Then once you've signed in or signed up to Canva, simply navigate up to the search bar and then type in email signature and then come down under suggested and click email signature. And this is where you can select one of the thousands of pre-made email signature templates that you can build from. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to build an email signature from a professional pre-made template. And to do that, rather than selecting one of these templates, we're gonna navigate over to create a blank email signature and select a pre-made template within Canva's designing interface. So click here and then navigate up to templates. Make sure you have templates selected and then search for a specific template. So for example, if I type in email signature again, you can see down here, I can select from a pre-made template. So go ahead and scroll through all the different templates and select a pre-made template that works for you. For example, let's say I like the look of this email signature. So I'm going to select here and by clicking this template, that's going to add this template over here where we can further customize each of the different elements. Now you can see that this email signature is made up of dozens of elements. For example, I can click over here and this is a text element. What I can do is change the text if I like, or I can add an image. Now up here, you can see some formatting options available. For example, I can change the color. I can change the size of the font. I can change the font style itself if I like, or with each element, what I can do is I can simply drag and drop that element around the page. So for example, I can come down here and change this text and change this text to my business name, which is Stuart Gould Consulting. And then down here, I can do the same with this text element by simply clicking on the element. However, I'm gonna leave this text as it is for now for the purpose of this tutorial. Then down here, I'm going to change learn more to call us now. I'm also gonna come down and add our website. Now, what I'm gonna do is navigate up to the top and delete this text element by simply right clicking and then coming down to delete. I'm also gonna do the same with this element over here. And above Stuart Gould Consulting, I want to add my logo. Now to add a logo or any picture, just simply navigate over to the left hand side and click upload. Then simply navigate up to upload media and simply locate the logo or image that you want to add to your email signature. We're gonna go ahead and add this logo and come down and click open. As you can see, our logo appears over here. All I need to do is click this image or logo and then I can simply drag and drop this image where I want it. Now, because this is a logo, what I wanna do is actually place that up here. Now, I also want to change this image over here. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and upload an image of myself by navigating over to Uploads again and clicking Upload Media. And here is a picture of myself that I want to upload by selecting it and then clicking Open. Now, to replace this image here, what I'm going to do is navigate over to the image I just uploaded and I'm going to simply click and drag that image 
over this image. And that's gonna replace this image. Now I can also drag and drop this image into the right placement and I like the look of that. Actually, what I might do is drag this down to the bottom and then make this image larger and that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now, what you can do other than uploading your own images and media is you can navigate over to elements on the left hand side and you can search for specific elements that you want to add into your email signature. We can also navigate over to photos and we can find photos that we want to add. And if we like, we can also add text. So for example, I can search for specific text that I want or I can come down and select any of these options that I wanna use in my email signature. For example, if I click add a header, that's gonna add this header in here. And I can go ahead and change the formatting if I like with the options above. However, what I'm gonna do is come down to this text element and actually right click and then come down and delete this element. Now the last thing I wanna do is actually add a phone number. To do that, I'm going to copy this element here by clicking copy, and then I'm going to simply paste that element because I want the text to be the same. Then I'm gonna double click on this element and simply change this text to our phone number. And as you can see, we have our phone number in here. Now what I'm gonna do is navigate up to the top and I'm going to actually increase the size of this text element by simply clicking increase font size. And I like the look of that. Now what I can also do is I can drag these elements and add them slightly higher. And I like the look of this email signature. So remember you can navigate over to the left hand side and you can select from the pre-made templates and customize the email signature the way that you like with Canva. Then when you're ready to download your new email signature, simply navigate up to download, then come down and make sure PNG is selected then simply click download. And after a few moments, your email signature will be downloaded onto your computer. Now let's go ahead and preview our email signature by opening the download. And as you can see, this is our new email signature that we created with Canva that we can simply add into our email. Now, depending on what email provider you use, it's pretty straightforward to add your email signature below your emails. So what I'm going to do is actually add two video tutorials down below in the description that will take you to two email signature tutorials that will show you how to add your email signature in Outlook and in Gmail. So go ahead, if you're not too sure how to actually add your email signature to your emails, then go ahead and check out those video tutorials down below. Now, if you find that your email signature is slightly too small, then what you can do is head back to Canva then back on your email signature, what we want to do is highlight your entire email signature, then navigate up to these three dots next to animate, and then navigate over to group. And what that's going to do is group all of these items. Then simply right click and come down and click copy. Then what we want to do is head back to our Canva dashboard. Then on your Canva dashboard, head over to the far right hand side and click on custom size. Then where it says width, what you wanna do is add 1280 and over on height, add 720. And make sure that pixel is selected, then come down and click create new design. Then simply right click on your blank page and come down and click paste. Then all you need to do is drag your email signature so it takes up the entire blank page. What we're gonna do is come up here and drag that out, and I like that. Now, as you can see, the background is slightly different, so what we need to do now is head back to our original email signature, and this time, what we need to do is actually select the background of our original email signature, then right-click and come down and click Copy. Then head back to your new email signature on the larger canvas, and then come down and right click on your new email signature, and then click paste. And just like that, we now have a larger email signature. Again, you can drag and drop each of these elements, you can resize them, you can reformat each of the text elements. Then when you're happy with your new email signature, simply navigate up to download again, and then come down and click download.
And this time what we're going to do is check out our larger email signature built with Canva. And as you can see, our email signature is a lot larger and clearer. Now, what you want to do when you add your email signature within your email. Now, what you want to do when you upload your new email signature to your email service is to simply reduce the size of your email signature to the size that works for you. Okay, so that covers the first method to creating an email signature with Canva. Now you'll notice that this is a PNG formatted email signature, meaning there are no clickable links. So this is a basic way to create a stunning yet simple email signature. Now, if you want a more responsive email signature where you can click on the email, you can click on the phone number, the website, and there are responsive buttons that can take your visitors to specific links and pages. Then the next method is for those that want to create a more responsive email signature. So what we want to do is simply head over to designhill.com forward slash email dash signature dash generator or feel free to click the link below this video in our description and that's going to take you here. And this is where you can create a responsive email signature in minutes like you can see up here. So to do that, simply navigate over to create your free email signature and then simply fill out the details that you want on your email signature. We're going to go ahead and do that now. And just like that, you can see I've added all the information I want to show on my email signature. So take the time and add all the information that you want to show on your email signature and then come down to logo photo avatar image and go ahead and upload a logo or a profile picture. We're gonna go ahead and add a profile picture for this email signature. Locate the image that you want to upload to your email signature and make sure that it's 500 by 500 pixels in terms of its size. If your image is too small or too big, then what you can do is head over to Canva like I showed you earlier and type in custom dimensions and simply where it says width and height, what you want to do is add 500 by 500 and then simply create your image that way and then download and upload here. So what I'm going to do is come down and click open. And as you can see, I have my profile picture below my signature. Now what we can do is come down to choose a theme for your signature and you can navigate through each of these templates, these themes and choose the one that best works for you. Now it's important to note that only these ones are free. If you want to add multiple social media links, and icons as well as have this different style with a line in between your profile image and information then you do need to upgrade to a paid plan however you can see that the majority of these are free so i like the look of this theme once you've selected your theme navigate up to social next to main and this is where you can add your social media links and buttons now as you can see if you want to add a facebook page or facebook url so a facebook link to your signature you do need to upgrade to a paid plan same with your linkedin you can see that we can add a twitter handle for free we can also come down and select let's say Instagram and we can add Instagram for free. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to make my email signature smooth, professional and minimalistic. So I'm not going to add any social icons and then navigate over to style. However, take your time to choose the social media links that you want to add to your email signature, then navigate over to style. Now under style, this is where you can customize the overall feel in terms of the colors and the font style of your signature. For example, I want to come down here to this link color and I'm going to copy this code and navigate over to feature color and paste that in here. I want everything to be blue because that is my theme color. Now you can also change your avatar size if you like by simply dragging and we can change the font size, the font style, and then the text color. So take your time to go through each of your styles, then navigate over to CTA. CTA means call to action. Basically what you can do for free is add a normal text button to the bottom of your email signature. 
For example, I could add a call to action saying, book your free strategy session. And down here, you can see our call to action. Now, what you wanna do is link your CTA button, your CTA text call to action by adding the link up here. So for example, I could add a link that takes people to our book now page or our contact page. And again, we can come down here and change the call to action text color, the background color. We can change the text style and we can change the text size. So take your time to do that. I'm happy with the bold red because this is a call to action. I want people to see this and click through and book a strategy session because this often leads into conversions. Then once you've added your CTA, you can move over to add-ons and under add-ons, this is where we can add a disclaimer for free if we like. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to leave this email signature the way that it is. Now, when you're happy with your email signature, simply come down and click create signature. Then go ahead and answer these questions and then come down and click download your signature. Here we need to add our email and then click sign up. And this will take you back to your email signature where you just need to click copy signature and then leave a testimonial or exit out of this page. And now that our email signature is copied, what we want to do is head over to our email inbox. Now, depending on what email service that you use, you can simply navigate up here and click on each of these options and you will see a brief description. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, we have an Outlook and Gmail tutorial, which I'll link below this video in our description that will show you how to add your email signature to Outlook and Gmail. However, what we're gonna do is head over to our Gmail inbox and show you one last thing that you need to do before you can start using your email signature. Okay, so the last thing that I want to mention with the Design Hill email signature is when you navigate over to the area where you want to paste your email signature, just simply right click and then click paste. So we've already pasted our email signature. You can see that in here now. Now what we want to do is make sure that we delete this Design Hill branding by simply highlighting and clicking delete. And just like that, we've deleted the Design Hill branding. Then we can come down and save this email signature. And here we have our free responsive email signature that we designed with Design Hill. So there we have it guys, you now know how to create a free professional email signature with both Canva and Design Hill. Remember using Canva, it is a static PNG email signature. However, with Design Hill, you can create a responsive email signature with clickable links. And with that happy note, that concludes our email signature tutorial. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's brief tutorial helping you create your free professional email signature. Now if you have any questions about creating your email signature, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.